Yo, guys, I'm really happy to, to be able to post this video now because I've been really, really busy this past week and I, st I believe I mentioned it in one of my videos that I may not have chance to be posting daily as I usually do, but I hope I can get to a point where I can balance uh, whatever I'm doing. It's a secret that hopefully will yield good results and I'll share with you guys. I hope it's going to pay off so that we have more time for myself so that I can actually post videos as often as I used to. Anyways, I've really missed you guys and I said to share the two shorting of Silver Cyborg, this annoying bastard. Guys, when I fought him in Heroic 6, it was really annoying to fight this guy. I spent multiple pips on this guy, trying to figure him out and all that. Of course, I don't have the very best artifacts in the game. I'm pretty sure most of you that watch my videos already know that. So, I'm sure you're not here for beta club gameplay or ultimate one shot. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, I decided to just use the Tana team here. We all know that this guy has a shit ton of defense. Guys, the ammo on this guy... It's something else. Like, if they could visualize the armor on this guy, we probably not even see Cyborg. It's just armor upon armor upon armor. So, definitely, you have to remove the defense of this guy somehow. If you are, if you don't have sort of seen, then that's where a classic Superman will come into the picture and do one, two, three special ones. I think two special ones, so you'll, you'll be okay. But since this guy has a shit ton of ammo, I'm thinking you may even need up to three special ones from your classic Superman, especially if he's not seven stars. Anyways... I decided to use Zatanna, of course, for health reduction. And one of Zatanna's debuff is that she reduces defense by, I think, 9% at 4 stars. So, of course, I don't have the best of the best passive, but I was like, that's what we do. So, my Batuma the Drown is not doing premium damage in this match, unfortunately. But I decided, ah, what the heck, I don't have any other team. And yes, that's one more thing. I would have actually used a death stroke. Oh, my Koam to do head reduction, but at this point, I had just two teams left. I had my Zatanna team left, and I have my League of Anarchy team left. So, I decided, well, let me do health reduction team first. And uh, I was actually quite surprised that Batuma the Drowned was able to do decent damage here because, of course, the boss has a shit ton of defense. But I think on that thing that actually helped my Batuma the Drowned to do some damage, apart from the fact that Zatanna reduces defense, all that thing that actually helped me was that dot damage ignores defense. So if you like, if you like, have 150% defense. If you like, have a thousand percent defense. I'm sorry, dot is going to eat through your ass. Wait, okay, I'm not going to finish that because it's going to sound really sus coming from me. So let's just stop that sentence right there. <laughs> Anyways, all my dot damage counted the way they would count, but of course, I don't do only dot oh that was pretty close right there 50k health good thing i have uh, uh level 5 chakra and level 9 sort of thing so i had like a decent amount of health so i survived i survived that but i wouldn't advise anybody to take a risk because this guy does a shit ton of damage so don't take a super move with your damage dealer special advice anyways what was i even saying now i've lost my train of thought eh? forget about what i was saying it doesn't matter again Anyways, I, this guy, I find him annoying anyways. Uh, he was always doing power reduction. Not power reduction, power draining. That power draining, it lasts forever. But I was able to do 645 million damage with my Batuma the Drown team, which was nice. I used Batarangs on that match. But this match, guys, no more Batarangs. But of course, I still need to use my Sword of Sin. Now, 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 before you hold me by the throat, my... Last Love Joker has 100% armor pierce. But the only problem with your armor pierce on talent is that it doesn't affect your specials and it doesn't affect your swipe attack. So you are going to be losing a shit ton of damage. Bruh! I can't have that. So I was going to do free to play, 100% free to play, but I was like, nah, fuck that shit. I got some sort of thing. I am going to use it. I won't beat myself up for having a pay to win artifact. I didn't buy it. I was given by NRS in all of their infinite messes. And since they refused to give me the beta club, I will enjoy my battle ranks and I will enjoy my fucking sort of scene. Yeah. So if you have it, use it. If you don't have it, then you can do like me and complain about it all day. Just the way I complain about beta club all the time. Anyways, yeah, so this match, I didn't use CI, of course. I, if you notice, even on the last match, I tried to do CI. It didn't work. This one, I also tried to do CI. I don't know what is wrong with Cyborg, but Cyborg gameplay is definitely, definitely different from that of Greed. Because, guys, when I was fighting Boss Greed, I was doing CI against that motherfucker. Try the match. 
But on this match, for some reason, I just can't see how to save my life against Boss Cyborg. I don't know what kind of voodoo this motherfucker has on. He doesn't just have ammo. He uses voodoo as well. He uses black magic. Strong one from Ijebu Ode. <laughs> for those of you that don't know where Ijebu Ode is, it's a place in Nigeria known for, well, known for the arts, the mystical arts. Anyways, 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 let's not get sidetracked right here. So, as you can see, I am actually beating down this motherfucker's health. And I'm grateful, I'm happy that I didn't start with my LOA team because I could have done a huge damage, but I wouldn't have finished off and I've I would have ended up spending even more pips trying to kill this bastard. But, but, my last last joker came to the rescue. And yeah, you, of course, you have to do your uh, block tagging. If you don't know how to do that, search Harambe block tagging. That will be the first result that will come up. Watch how I have to do it there. I'm not going to talk about that ever again. I've talked about that so much and I'm tired of talking about it. Anyways... 30 seconds left. How much time left? Okay, 35 seconds left. Yeah, I'm just doing the standard tagging. Do uh, do uh, special two combo. You know, towards the end of the match, your power starts generating at a very high rate. It's so fucking amazing. And I really loved it. So you can start to change your special two. But before then, the sort of scene gave me the ability to actually like just fight the boss without being afraid of the boss using specials at the beginning of the match anyways i was able to finish the bastard with 10 seconds left or um, thereabout and let's see how much let's see the reward i got of course it's going to be shit if you enjoy my videos guys you love my videos support me smash the subscribe button and i'll see you on the next one bye